International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Quality and speed are our culture and the keys to our success. Welcome to the audio summary section of the International Journal of Health Policy and Management. There is great consensus on the importance of building resilience. There's no doubt about it, but how do we define resilience of health systems? Why do we mean by resilience? How do we recognize situations of risk? How do we know what properties of the system are better adapted to certain circumstances, shocks? Who make decisions on the directions of the health systems? And best on what? These are the critical questions on the management and governance of resilience, on how to manage the capacities of health systems. We try to put in place a new conceptual framework, new for health systems and public health, but not new for ecology. It's very much an adaptation from a conceptual framework Le Lebel has used in ecosystems. And we have identified four dimensions, knowledge. Anticipating the shocks and events, such as a pandemic, requires a functional disease surveillance system, for example, to inform health services managers on the occurrence of pandemics and the state of transmission of the disease. That's one. It is very important. But the nature of the knowledge that needs to be collected and processed and analyzed to ensure and measure resilience needs to extend beyond the sphere of health system. We need to look at the current level of resources available. We need, look, we need to look at what are the current weaknesses of the, of the, of the health system to make sure that we, 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 we compensate and we, we adapt. In terms of uncertainties, when we talk about resilience, we, we very much look at the adaptability of the health system. And adaptability is defined as a capacity of the actors in a system to respond to stresses and shocks. And it's mainly a function of the actions and decisions taken by individuals, networks, and groups. It could be individual actions, it could be collective actions and decisions. I give an example from um, a study by Mackenzie et al. They showed that the capacity of the health system in northern Nigeria to adapt to an outbreak required not only a capacity to cover all the six building blocks of the health system as defined by WHO, but also required access to flexible, adaptable resources to respond to unexpected shocks, such as an, an, an outbreak, a cholera outbreak, for example, as opposed to rigid aid or typically inflexible government funding. Flexibility is necessary to respond to uncertainties. Interdependence. What do we mean by that? It's a capacity to engage with actors from multiple and cross-scale dynamics. It's important to recognize that health systems are embedded within other complex structures. Political system, economic sphere, legal system, social and ecological, ecological systems. And across scales as well, we need to look at the local system, regional, subnational, national, and global. Another important component of resilient health system is the necessity of community trust and ownership. It is important that any change we bring or we introduce into the health system is recognized 
as being socially and contextually adapted, accepted by institutions and norms. Thank you. Thank you.